Lanique, of course. Lanique. 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 Lanique, of course. Lanique. Lanique, of course. No question about it. Hi, I'm Nick Kosovich and welcome back to another episode of Life with Lanique. Today I'd like to discuss one of my personal hates, um, and that is, um, for so many people, they're out there on the competition floor, spending thousands of dollars on their costumes, and when the gentlemen go to put on their numbers, or their partners put on their numbers, they are pinned incorrectly, and we end up with pull marks in the back of the jackets and the shirts. So, my lesson for today, for everyone out there, is how to put on a number correctly without damaging your costume. So, my friend here, sample, our number. Regular numbers, they normally have the four holes on each side. So to put it on correctly and accurately, this is the easiest way. Number one, what we do is we fold the number, and what I usually do is just pinch it at the top and pinch it at the bottom so that we place that on the center seam so that we can actually line the number up straight, parallel with the ground. So, that's the first step. Next step is with my safety pins. I actually take them and put them through the hole of the number and then back through the paper itself. So what happens is, is that the number is now positioned, you can see that, so it's not pulling directly on the fabric. A lot of people tend to do this, and this is what not to do. That is put the pin through the hole, through the jacket or the shirt, and of course the paper and number moves around. So that ends up either tearing the number, but most numbers these days by respectable competition organizers are laminated. So what happens is the paper is actually much stronger. So what happens is that it's caught, somebody bumps into you, your partner pulls on it, and it ends up tearing and pulling the fabric. So the correct way to do it again is safety pin through the paper, then back out through the hole. I'm just gonna pin it through the number now lined up so now it's not pulling directly on the fabric and there you have it how to put on a number correctly of course we do that with the same two bottom holes and do remember try and use all four safety pins to secure the number correctly thank you very much i hope you've enjoyed this week's edition of life with Lenny. Thanks again for watching this week's episode of Life with Lanique. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, check out our videos on our YouTube. Don't forget to like us, and we'll see you again next week.